Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to declare an array and allocate it in the Java language. Now, in Java, the arrays typically you have to uh, you have to declare them and then allocate them, and you can either manually initialize the contents or you can automatically initialize them when you allocate them. So I've got an example here that I wrote in Java using the uh, Eclipse IDE. And what I have here is first I'm going to I'm going to allocate and uh, I'm going to declare and allocate an array of integers. And so typically the pattern is you, you have to declare a type and then you have square brackets to indicate that it's an array. And then you give it a name and then you say equals new and then you say again the type and its size. And that allocates an array of 10 integers and those are primitive types, so uh, there's not a whole lot to do beyond that. You can just stuff in values if you want. And that's what I do in this next, um, this next loop right here. I've got a for loop that I go through, and I put in the, uh, the values. Now, you can also uh, auto-initialize the, uh, the array, as I've done here. I've said int, you know, integers. But then in curly braces, I put the values that I want to go into the integers uh, within that array. And so you can automatically do that, take two steps down into one. It makes it easier and convenient, and uh, you can you know, read your code better sometimes. And what I have here, this is an array of strings. Now, strings are different than primitives like integers and characters and whatnot. Strings are objects. So unlike an array of primitives which contain values, it's an array of values, like an array of integers will have integer values in the array, uh, an array of objects have references to objects. So typically what you'll do is you'll declare um, the array and allocate it, and then you'll go back and you will initialize the objects that the, that the array points to. Um, but with strings, uh, since the strings are objects, however, you do have the ability to do something like right here, where in curly braces you could put strings in there instead of uh, just references and then go back and fill them in. But if you see right here, this is how I did it with strings. I, I declared and allocated an array of strings and then I went through and I stuffed the array uh, references with strings so that it has references to objects. But again, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it like I've done right here. I said string, and knitted strings, and I stuffed it in with uh, arrays, but or with strings. <clears throat> but if you had an array of complex objects, you know, say it was a some sort of object uh, initialized from a from a from a class or something else that you instantiated, uh, you wouldn't be able to do it this way. You'd have to go through first and allocate the array, and then initialize uh, the contents. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today I showed you how to declare an array and allocate it in Java. Thanks for watching.